Hi hey guys, Mark Crossroad here, live lesson time. Um, we're going to show you how I help someone with their strike. Um, around some body angles that we found when we measured the way they swung their body as well. Really kind of help this player dial in to improving their strike. Let's show you what I mean. Let's get stuck in. So we're going to start, let me show you some of the numbers that I found through measuring the student and then we'll go into the live exchanges to show you how we improved some of the numbers but let's just explain to you what I explained to the student, what we needed to improve and also um, how the numbers might help them. So we've got my swing on the bottom here with an 8 iron, Dave's on the top. Um, you can see how much more leaning over he is, so 39 total degrees leaning forward to my 33. Um, his rib cage 49 to my 44, his pelvis 28 degrees leaning forward to my 19. So he was very low at address, he was leaning over a lot. I got him to try and stand up a little bit, which you'll see on the live interactions in a second. Then here's the big one through impact. His hips look 8 degrees leaning down towards the ground still, compared to my positive number of 23 degrees. So pushing through the ball very differently which was definitely going to contribute to very different strikes. I'm someone who catches the ball at the middle to slightly low on the face, where he's much more middle to high and catching the ground on the face. So let's get into some of the live interactions to show you how we thought about trying to get him to stand differently, and then B, tried to get him to get up through the ball to improve his strikes and help him hit more targets. Right, Dave, so we've captured... The strikes is the issue. We need to get the strikes not so high on the face. Okay. Um, and you're hitting the ground, you can feel you're hitting the ground, yes, which we need to get rid of. That's where your pull comes in, okay. because your numbers are good. So your your deliveries are good, you're three down, love that's fine. Yep. 4.7 swing into the right average, fine. So in to out, yes. which I know you're happy with. Yep. Um, and your face is averaging close to the path. Okay. And all that happens, and only one close to the path, which is quite nice. Okay. So you should be hitting slight pushes to slight draws. And I don't know if you noticed when you struck a good one, yeah. it did miss five yards right. It was a good yeah. shot, yeah. but it wasn't overdrawing. No, no. The overdraws come from this heavy shot. Right, okay, yeah, which is looking like... Yeah, giving that yeah. club a bit of turn yeah. as it whacks yeah. the ground. Yeah. Now, we're looking at some numbers on the my swing when there's definite changes in way, say, uh, how much my hips are pointing up at the sky compared to yours, 8 degrees to my 26 at impact. Yes, sure. So there's really some, incident, uh, some issues with how you're using your body, which I'll go a bit more into depth with um, as I overlay on this video. Sure. So we're going to talk about trying to get you to get away from the ground impact a bit more. So if you jump on the mat, we're gonna talk about your grip possibly at some point, because your grip is slightly strong, okay. but it's not offending me at the moment. <laughs> it might do when you start getting better strikes. If okay. that then starts overturning, we'll talk about it. Okay. So just move the club away from the ball, because we'll do a practice swing to start. Put your hands on. Okay, so we need to stand much taller at address. And I, so your hips were very over, shoulders over, so just pull your upper body back. So that's it. Put the club down on the ground now by using a little bit more of this kind of angle yeah. in your wrist. Good. Have you ever seen Garcia hit on telly? Yeah, he was Oh, good. he's massively in the air. Just yeah, feel a bit more Garcia with your setup. Yeah. yeah. Now I want you to make your normal backswing, but downswing I want you to feel like you're really pushing up through the left leg, left shoulders going up and back as it comes through. Yeah, that's it. So on the way through, I want left shoulder, yeah. left hip going right up into that. Yeah. yeah sure. so don't need to swing faster. You just need to feel that you're pushing away from that ground up through your left side as you come into it, the ball. Good. Let's try a few. See what happens. I'd expect a few fins here. <laughs> Off the neck, going again. Definitely less ground, but more jammed in the neck, which we'll see if that continues. Brilliant. Loving that. And again. So two strikes there now, closer to the red line, not any real duffy ground interaction there. Brilliant. Ball then ground, that's good. So there's the push I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't think the pull is a real shot. <coughs> no. The pull is a duff. The pull is a duff and I'm hitting Correct. The yeah, really good. Brilliant. 
straight at it. So if we look now, so we've got two data sheets of capture. There's your yep. last strikes. Yeah. And then if we go to your first, there's your first batch of strikes. That's okay. Yeah. Massive difference. Yeah. Um, those kind of differences are going to be massive in dispersion. So the green shots are your last batch. Yeah. Yellow shots are your yeah. first batch. First batch yeah. So your dispersion left to right isn't changing massively because nope. it wasn't massive offline, but dispersion short to long. Yeah. Which, remember the old game golf when we first Yeah, yeah, out? yeah. I remember speaking to you on Twitter. Yeah. And I felt I was hitting it right. And I said, but I'm always coming up short. Yeah. And he went, strike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, all right, fair one. <laughs> so look, a short yeah. to long is huge compared to the greens. Yeah, sure. If you watch a good player here, I don't know if I've got anything on here. Well, let's go. Here you go. This is eye blade. This is me hitting eight or six shots with two clubs left to right isn't dissimilar to you but look how bunch they are for distance yeah sure that is a pattern with all good players right okay so they might disperse you know i've got great uh captures from uh good players dispersing yeah. quite a long way left and right but they're all on this blue line or this one whatever number they're trying to hit sure, sure. which means they're going to get pin eye chip yeah, and part exactly. or two parts yeah. and when they do it it close it's a birdie part Consistency, knowing your yeah, strategy, you? 100%. That's so much better. Loving that. Let's keep that going. So, last batch of shots with one more capture at the end. Yep. We've changed the lie of your golf club. Yeah. You average 2.4 towed up. Yeah. So, toe in the air yeah, is what sure. you're averaging. Yeah. And the last one you're now averaging 0 0.5 so i've just fitted your golf way, clubs so. yeah yeah <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> so pass five from the inside from five 4.7 it's maintaining face is now 2.7 close to the path which is better than only yeah. one close to the path okay. we're going to get less pushes that way sure. so as you try to push up yes there's a good chance that you might even open up more yeah. well if you open your body up more there's more chance that club will spin out in front of you yeah. and catch up with your handle and hopefully get somewhere in relationship to your path yeah. yeah if you don't if you're just going down your handle leaning and that face is going to point more right than it should do as well as you career into the ground um we've got your last capture on the top here yeah. and your first capture at the bottom 39 leaning forwards to now 29 this is yeah. posture yeah. Um, in fact let's put it to the start we'll give it a better one 29 to 39 49 to 39 28 yeah. to 18 basically everything is 80 a uh, 10 degrees more up in setup and that is definitely leading to some more quantified better strike yeah sure it's brilliant. It feels a lot better, yeah, it? absolutely. So we measured his full body movement plus his face delivery, so it looked like loads of numbers. But at the end of the day, all I told him to do was try and raise the left pocket into impact and left shoulder. I feel like he was coming up through impact, pushing up through that left leg. Really simple swing for, but from some quantified measured data. You can see from his hip movement, I got him to zero from eight degrees, hips to uh, kind of tilted down. At impact so he was starting to raise it uh, as we progressed the lesson on this was a capture say 40 minutes before the end of the lesson so we did plenty of hitting afterwards I think he kept pushing it up and up and up as he practiced more I think he'd have the confidence too as well and you can see his overall tilt forward as well from 33 came up to 28 that improved that strike enough to get him hitting the red line more get that grouping not as short and long so so to target in short that he was getting which would really affect his dispersion on the golf course um, and hopefully getting back playing back to his handicap of eight and within time maybe sneaking underneath it um, great live lesson hopefully you learned a little bit from it there how measuring can help me as a coach and hopefully other coaches out there deliver the simplest information around some real measured quantified differences thanks for watching as always post comments down below remember to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying it hit that subscribe button post your comments let me know what you thought of this lesson uh, I'll try and answer as many as I can. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also come and visit my new website markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.